Hello, this is John Bain. I've been giving away some CD-ROMs lately that have my newly republished book, The Word of Their Testimony, on it, included inside the Caliber eBook Management Program. In case you've been having any trouble using this or facilitating it, I certainly want you to be able to get a hold of this book and to enjoy it. So I have uh, prepared a small tutorial here. I'm going to load my CD. It's exactly like the one I've been distributing. And if you didn't get one of these, just let me know and I'll send you one or uh, take one to you. I'm anxious about uh, and interested in getting this book distributed to a broader base than I ever have before. It's a book that I wrote several years ago, but uh, just now getting it uh, into a wider circulation. So if you insert this in your uh, computer CD-ROM drive, if you have Windows XP or Vista or Windows 7 or Windows 8, more than likely you, if you uh, have your computer configured as it was when it came from the factory or from the store where you bought it, it'll come up with an autoplay window here and you'll want to look for open file open folders to view files uh, as a part of the autoplay feature. So you want to click on that and you'll see the folder, the Caliber Portable folder. In order to utilize this, you're not going to be able to use it from the CD because it, it's kind of a living program and it writes uh, to files, it keeps up with your settings and how you use it, and so it, it, it's necessary to be on your computer for it to work properly. You can just simply grab hold of it by, with your mouse by putting the browser pointer over the file folder name and the icon and holding down the left mouse button and just drag that over to your desktop if you wish. Uh, I like to keep, as you see, a pretty clean desktop so I might click on computer or go down and click on a file folder down here at the bottom to open up the my documents uh, section. So I would click on documents here maybe and um, to drag it to there. But for right now, just for simplicity's sake, uh, this is what came up when I told it to open the uh, CD. And uh, you see that? If you'll just grab, put your mouse over that, hold down the left mouse and keep it held, and then drag it over to your desktop, and then just let the mouse button go it will copy that entire folder over to your desktop. Okay, it has taken uh, three or four minutes for that folder, the Calibri portable folder, to copy to my desktop. It's just now finishing up, about five seconds remaining, it says. It's uh, not a huge file, but uh, it is of some size. When that has happened, you can grab that with your mouse and put it anywhere on the desktop that you want, there, so it'll be out of the way. This is the uh, drive on your computer, the CD that you loaded in, so you can close that. Now you're finished with that, and now you have a usable, workable program called Caliber Calibre and it only has three folders in it and then the executable program. If you don't have uh, your computer configured to show the extensions, it won't have this EXE on the end. It'll just say Calibri-Portable. There's a little readme file right there. You should be able to open that. There's a few explanations uh, about that that you can read at your leisure. But if you want to use this, and you'll see that in the library folder, you can open that, and you'll see that there's a folder in there with my name on it. And inside that is the book, uh, The Word of Their Testimony. And it has uh, the book in three versions, a PDF file, Mobi, or an EPUB. But uh, the reason you might want to use Calibre is because so that those things don't, are not really uh, important to you now. So if you just click on the... Uh, Calibre Portable EXE file there, or the, the program file that is separate from the three program files. 
then it'll open up like this and you'll see there's the book all you have to do is uh, the word of their testimony the icon then all you have to do is double click on that the book will open and you can read the book by clicking the page indicator here I'm gonna go back to the first so there's the cover you have right here on the left hand border your uh, page direction so you can go forward or backward so to go to the next page you can click here or just simply tap the space bar of your computer keyboard if you tap that space bar it'll go forward and you can read the book there like that now you can see that uh, over here on the right there's a synopsis of the book and it shows those three versions that the book has been published in um, if you come up to the book and right click on it to uh, edit uh, the metadata you can see those three versions right there EPUB, Mobi, PDF but you can read it right here and it will most often open the PDF I mean the uh, the EPUB file in Calibra so there you are now if you ever want to uh, place another book in Calibri all you have to do is drag and drop I only have one book in it now but if you come up to the top of the program you'll see these buttons along the top if you'll hit to the square button it'll be a full page uh, and you can uh, simply when it is not completely a full page you can grab that blue bar right there and move that around and uh, if you had another book that you wanted to load from there for instance I've got a another book here it's an EPUB uh, called Unbearable Cross. If I downloaded this from the internet or someone emailed it to me or uh, I, uh, uh, some other way I put a, another disc in, all I have to do is grab that with the left hand mouse held down, drag it over to Calibri. Now it has added Unbearable Cross and I can drag that back over there and go full screen and if I double click on unbearable cross it will open it up and there it's, uh, it's ready to be read same way so it's very easy you can I have uh, nearly 5,000 books in my uh, collection in my library I carry around on a flash drive I hope that you'll find this program useful too and I hope you'll enjoy reading the books God bless you.